Welcome back to Blood West. Last time we purged the swamp from the evil that haunted it. Now we ran away from the evil that brought us back. And looks like we're in a mountain range, so I'm not exactly sure where we are. I just know we're here. I did some inventory stuff, so you didn't have to watch me do it. Oh, well, give me a second. Now I did some inventory stuff, so you don't have to watch me do it. Have you seen those big pools of blood? Some imps or other bloodsuckers are sitting in them. Uh, can we trade? Yeah, let's see what we got. Nice, nice, nice. You have arrows. Good. I need those. He has long ammo, which is nice. What's this? Call of the Abyss. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of money. This repeating high caliber rifle is unique work of unknown master gunsmith. It's done with strange rust stains. No amount of scraping and scrubbing can remove it. Just like disturbing symbols that adorn this weapon. The mere fact of holding this weapon in your hand makes you feel like it's stretching out towards you, towards you dark tentacle, stretching out towards you dark tentacles from beyond the edge of your own vision. Ready to penetrate your brain and take over. Interesting, and a buffalo rifle, which I do own. Hey, there's the map. All right, and you sell new dawn tick. Oh. That's actually useful. Nice. All right, I'm going to actually buy a couple more bandages. And all right. First things first, let's open this and put the map in here. All right, now we don't have to hold on to that. And then we're going to stick the five bandages over here. All right, that's done. Now we're going to remove a few things because well, we're going to need money for this. All right, I want you. Now, what am I replacing? Five dollars. Deathstalker's heart, which is awesome. Then the hat. I'm gonna get rid of uh, the brooch until I get to know the area more. I'm gonna get rid of the brooch until I understand what, where, and what I, I'm doing here. All right, let's see. An artifact belonging to the undead is hidden somewhere in the nearby town. With all, with it is my possession. I'll easily spot. I must find it. Okay. All right. And this is where I collapsed and died. All right, we need to try to get some headshots with this gun so we can get some money. All right, let's actually explore. But first, we can also talk to him. Oh, wait, what's this? A painting cutter. A rusty knife with a strange, barely legible name carved into the handle. It glows red from time to time, becoming almost ethereal. I'm going one second I want to see oh yeah it does how odd I'll stick it in here for now just in case there's something to deal with it later well bring it on but in return, you'll get me a bottle of good hooch. Just kidding. Everything only ends up going right through me. <laughs> Tell me about Diggersville. What else do you want to know about this place? A long time ago, anyone could have had some real fun here. The residents still hated the city's bourgeoisie more than you. Even when you were robbing them and extorting free drinks in the saloon. I almost pitied them. Can you believe that? But such was their ugly fate. Someone has to serve and work so others can steal and destroy. <laughs> ah, now the town's like a grave, repugnant like a real tomb. 
Good thing that some of my cash has survived whatever happened after I've left. Tell me about the Silver Peaks. The so-called elites lived there. Bankers, mine owners, and other businessmen. Even some shitty nobility. Of course, not alone, no. They had their families and their servants, so someone could wipe their noble asses and bring them a hot cup of tea. This, you must think to yourself now. Hey, hoodlum, why didn't you rob the fat cats instead of miners and such? Well, the answer is simple. I made that mistake once and paid for it dearly. The sheriff and his people, oh, they were good, bloody good. They hunted me for four days and when they finally got their hands on me, they tossed me off a ledge and landed in the swamps. Precious, I'm interested. <sighs> I knew you'd catch that one particular word from a flood of them. Like I said, I used to hang out here with my gang a long time ago. And as a good boss of murderers and brigands, I stashed some of the loot in safe places. Of course, time passed and some of them were found. Well, whatever. Give me your map. I'll mark a few places for you. Do you know anything about the chasm? Ah, that big hole in the middle of the town. No, nothing at all. Except it smells like a corpse and something really vile. Silent. Uh, oh, wait. Good. All right. Time to see what this place holds. All right, so this way is nothing, so I'm going to go over here and check it out. Oh, I'm not blessed. It just hit me. I'm not blessed. Oh, no. Reduced to ashes. Okay. Also, the headshots with this gun, remember, I get $5. And get five headshots in a row. I can cure a soul flaw. I have no idea what you are. I didn't really see you, but it looks like you have three, like, the veins or roots. <gasps> All right, there's a wagon, but nothing in it. I mean, I doubt much would be in here since this is literally the beginning of right, So we want to go to Diggersville and... Hidden stash, hidden stash. Okay, there's two hidden stashes over here. I'm not touching those for a while. Oh, wait. What's this now? Okay, gold oh, oil. What? Ooh, bandages. I hear a bell. Or is that the ambience of the music? Yeah, it's a dead end also. Oh. I mean, I'm just looking. And dead ends always mean there's something there. Most of the time. Ashes to ashes. Oh, wait, what? 
What? What? What is this? Interesting. I hate that. You're a defiler. Hellbat wing. Oh. Oh. A hellbat wing ripped off its host. The defiler ripped off the host of the defiler. Its mere presence lowers the lowers alertness of these lesser demons. The fewer of them there are in this world, the better. Um, you know, I got bandages. Over here's a dead end. I'm not sure what's there. I'd rather go there than whatever that is. All right, nothing here. Mm, spicy. Note of the boo. Can't say no to such a curiosity. You know, I don't like... Uh, rusty Axe isn't worth my time. Little guys for big jobs. All right, I'll take the bolts and I'll put them in storage after. Someone sees me. Are you a boo hag? Come on. Oh, no. I gotta find some bandages. How'd that miss? No, this is all. No, you're something else. All right, let's read the boo hag. Come on, read. <clears throat> There is no evidence that the creature known as the Boo Hag found in the barren lands are the same ones from the legends and stories. Nevertheless, the name has stuck with them. And in some in some regards, they do share similarities to those mythical creatures. It is a fact that they are predatory human humanoids, and their appearance resembles a flayed woman. No attempt has been made so far to clothe the boo hag in human skin and observe the effects due to, among other things, their rarity as well as their speed, cunning, and a talent for hiding. Most remarkable, however, is their ability to take lethal damage and survive. Behavior. In combat, the monsters are ferocious and make full use of their long claws. They can not only, inf only afflict them uh, nasty bleeding and festering wounds with them, but also use them in ranged attacks. Brought to an almost agonal state, they freeze and regenerate instantly. It has been observed that in order to successfully kill a boo hag, one should use either fire or gold ammunition. God damn, I'm not looking forward to that. So a shotgun to the head will not do it. Understood. I mean, we're in Diggersville now. Give me That's a nice little thing. All right, there's nothing up here. Just hit. I'm gonna keep an object between you and me. Nope. You won't be missed.
No. Put to death. I do not want to deal with those things. <laughs> I should have brought more ammo. I got, luckily, the bow. Probably the best thing to use right now. No. I know that noise anywhere. I don't like that noise. Dead hunter with a rusty buffalo rifle. I mean, it has a decent price on it. All right, there's a coin. My there. new favorite thing. I hear him. He's down there. Okay, I see a gold. I'll take that. And shotgun ammo which i'm immediately equipping a shotgun the bow does not fit there damn okay uh let me move this I'm trying to there we go there we go this is my new shotgun remember yeah oh i missed an arrow I already know we're... I'm quite attached to my skin, thank you. Uh, you have nothing for me. Okay. Today is mostly run around and see the landscape and see what's up. Oh, a potion. I might as well keep the shotgun on for now. I got a lot of ammo for it. Actually, wait, don't I have my knife on me? I do. All right. You know, I'm going to drop you. I don't think you're going to be worth it. It's like a a contaminator. A still warm a contaminator gland. A still warm gland ripped from the corpse of a contaminator. A filthy creature residing in unpleasant surroundings. One can only guess that there is some form of symbiosis between them and demons. The origin itself stinks. The organ itself stinks unbearably. But the scent seems to have a calming effect on other contaminators. Reduces the chance of contaminator emitting toxins by 50%. Ugh. Oh, 
it doesn't kill him. It doesn't kill him. I'm on the way. All right. I think those are female nice. footsteps. Little bottle of fun. Out of my sight. Maybe useful. One second, my inventory is getting a little ridiculous right now. I appreciate all the health potions, guys, but come on. short ammo Blast of fresh blood. nothing shines as bright as I do hi you're you're beautiful extremely extremely beautiful everyone will be stunned when they oh my oh no <laughs> We're doing it. You're not welcome here. I'm shocked I got away from them without aggroing them. There's a lot. No looting. There's still some. And I want them all dead before I loot. No looting yet. No looting yet. Oh, did I actually kill them all? Okay, we can loot. I have a feeling this will come in handy. I mean, sweet, but I don't have anything to use that with yet. Flammable short ammo, gold. You never have too I'll much of those. Down to that. Ace of diamonds, what do you do? Good to have one if you need to win the game. Or two, what if you manage to find all four aces? Headshot damage is increased by 20%, but if another one's equipped, I get a 30%. Honestly, that's really good. Give me a second. If I get rid of the shot coin, I will definitely equip the ace. But right now, we have some things I need to store. Let's get rid of the bowl. I'm keeping you. You're going to be useful. I got another key. Uh, actually, let's do this. You in there, and then the key. I got more bandages, too, which is great. I need them. I don't want the flammable ammo on me, so we'll put it all away. All right. Over 
picture, not underneath the beds, no. All right, if I could find, and no wait. What do we have here? If I could find another ace, I'm sticking it under, I, I could duel them. It could be really good. All right, inventory is still looking pretty darn good, and we got an accessory. All right, everyone in here is dead. Gold mead. You know, I could probably use the alcohol more than I do now. I barely use it. Hmm, that looked weird to me. Okay. Oh, that's my shotgun. Let's, uh, how about not have the shotgun equipped? Oh, that's why everything is over. Okay, I hate the way these guys walk. There. I... You guys are going to require a little finesse, aren't you? God damn. Well, they don't go away. Interesting. I'm learning, I'm learning. Bullets and arrows need them all. There's a stinky man in there. He's either upstairs or in... Alright, you can die to a headshot. That will come in handy. this one do ah this may be useful oh a sentence a shotgun used by a self-appointed judge who traveled between settlements looking for criminals and sinners woe is those upon whom rested his wandering gaze for such a person was very quickly brought before his judgment. The verdict came in a flash, as fast as the shot from his shotgun and just as merciless. Apparently, only once was the pronounced sentence not death, but stories told around the fire mentioned each time another person supposedly managed to escape the judge executioner. Headshots restore 10 HP. If inside demonic vapors, 50% crit hit chance. Is that pairing the shotgun I got now? That deals 90 plus 40, and this deals 100 plus 5. And that, oh, it is way better, but it's cursed. Okay, I'm not going to equip it, but that is my new shotgun. We need those. All right, wasn't expecting to get. Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get a shotgun from that. Awesome. I like that. I really do. 12 meters, 11 meters. Yeah, that's better in every way. The only problem is it curses me. Headshot teal 10. But yeah, I won't be able to take it off. So I'll have to have a purple revival on me at all times. I should do the thing where I walk into a room and hit tab because that shows you every object nearby. But I like doing it. No. Where? Oh. Man, he really wanted me. Damn. I wish I had my fox perk. All right, where's what I need? Right over there. Okay. We'll do this story mission, and then I'm gonna explore more. Cause, uh, yeah. And don't come back. Hide. You will grow. Wait, he saw me. He saw me. Okay. I missed that fox perk. All right. gone all right forgot the bow's damage goes up for each hp i'm missing hold up there billy give me all the shotgun ammo i got a really good shotgun i also might respect maybe part of me likes my stealth build i do but respecting sounds cool. At least it gives you the option. It's, uh, well, I think this is the last act of the game. Okay. I'm getting HP back now, which is good. Oh, someone just straight up died in here. Hello. Oh, they got stabbed, and I guess they cut their head off too. No, I want the arrow. Thank you. Wait. No, I'll leave them alone for now. There's more dangerous things than them. I noticed that they walk really slowly. The biggest threat is the bats they spawn. Which then at that point, probably equip my melee weapon and go. Because a headshot does not stop them. Oh. Wait. God damn it. They come fast. Uh oh. You're kidding me. There we go. Like that. Okay, I missed a few shots. Alas, it's never enough. Especially if you keep missing like I do. Oh, wait. Oh, it's just a rust. Do you have ammo on you? You do. Alright, go back. Little guys for big jobs. Don't come near me. 
wanted to. Well, I thought I hit fast enough. Apparently, I didn't. Let's just do this. <laughs> in here no there's someone close by that can hear me but other than that no one oh someone was in the middle of eating <sighs> nothing Ooh. Okay. You don't give me a second. I'm gonna try something. Let's get rid of. Oh, as much as I love the wind to go hard, I'll equip one of these. seem to shoot them fast enough when they pop. Rest in oblivion. Nope. You're kidding me. Really? Alright, someone text me. Eh, unimportant. The wing is okay. It definitely lowers the chance of the bat thing spawning, which I absolutely hate. Oh. That's a different voice. Stairs, whatever is talking. Part of me thinks I shouldn't see what it is. Oh dear. Let's try it. I'm cursed. Disturbing voices. I'm gonna die probably. Get ready. Okay, the bog hag is dead. Okay, we got more fire ammo, which you got a feeling it's gonna be very important. And a sawed off shotgun, which I'm gonna take. There's nothing in there, get rid of. Okay, this is my bog hag gun right here. There's a bog hag, put some flame rounds in it, and just go. Oh, wait. 
We'll take this with me. Hey, buddy. Wait, what? I hate those things. I really do. There's a dead horse. Yeah, I'm gonna have to momentarily take a break. So I'll resume this after. All right, break's over. Let's do this. This place is, oh wait. Wait, okay, the stash is this way. Drink, drink, drink. Oh my god, I live. Oh, that is extremely close. Hold. Oh man. <laughs> Uh -huh. You have a boo hag scalp. A scalp ripped off the head, uh, the head of a boo hag. Still warm. This mess is unbelievably. This mess of an unbelievably dirty hair, blood, and God's know what else, surely has repelling qualities. No one. Neither in a dead nor a demon would want to be anywhere near this monstrosity. Who hags range attack does thirty percent less damage? Yay! I'm not wearing it. Oh, Molotov for the win! Fine addition to my collection. God damn it. Disgusting filth. Stay here all day. Do they not see me? I'm afraid to move. Okay, you do see me. Nope, out uh, here. Okay, either that was a weird bug or they actually can't see you. And they're like uh, clickers from Last of Us. They hear you. I'm waiting for it to go away before I go back in there. Okay. Interesting. I'm trying to learn right, there's nothing in here nothing in here 
A bit of inspiration for later. Red Steed. Um, quickens melee attacks, bleeding resistance. Okay. And where am I supposed to put this? Uh oh. Huh? It's finally happened. I'm full. Deal with a couple things after. Okay, there we go. We got this. Beautiful. Let's hurry up and find his thing so I can go back and deal with my inventory. May need it at some point, you never know. A gold chalice, $77. Did it? All right, two headshots with the shotgun. Ooh, you really want me to wear this, don't you? I mean, I'm willing to sacrifice that at the moment. Fine. Oh, damn it. Here's some friendly advice. Don't get up. Oh, no. And I got no space in my inventory. I'm actually gonna go. I'm leaving. Okay. Hey, man. Are you okay? Yeah, you're okay. Wait a second. I, uh, what are you doing here? My favorite undead in the flesh. Good to see ya. You and your friend couldn't find a seedier place to stay, huh? <laughs> I can almost spot a pattern in your choices. Let's drop the standards. It's good to see you still walking this earth and leaving piles of dead monsters behind. Ah, and Twin sends her regards. Annabelle, what are you doing here? I decided to follow you and make sure you didn't get tangled in some kind of mess. Plus, I was curious where you were actually going. I'd love to say that it's quite nice here and that the air is crisp, but... I sense something in it. Something... burning. And even worse things. I won't be staying here for long. 
I'm going back to Twin and her father soon. We have to decide what to do next. I, for example, do not intend to spend any more time in the swamps. I'm planning to venture into the world, find a town, finally plant a small garden. I'd stay longer for tea, but something tells me you don't have any. What about Twain? She alone in swamps? Twain ain't as lonely as she was before. Ah, yeah, you left before it happened. Her father returned. He arrived shortly after you got rid of the giant that was the source of the curse in the swamps. He sensed the beast's awakening and prepared all his rituals and strange objects, only to arrive and find there a corpse. As well as Twin and I, looking for firewood. I'm truly glad that he turned up. That he wasn't another victim of... all that. We're like settlers of the world's end, ain't we? Well, you still have a moment to savor my presence. <laughs> Alright, let's see what she has. Okay. Well, I guess I'll sell some things to you. Might as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't mean to sell that one. Ah, too late. I got two thousand dollars. I would love to get this, but I don't think I'm gonna get it. Oh well. I didn't expect to see her though. sell this I, I have three thousand okay I got a mess of the inventory right now regular shotgun yeah nope oh that's gold there we almost go For now, I'm gonna put that in storage. Yeah, I have more enough potions. Nope, not what I meant. I'm also gonna take that and that and actually organize these clothes. The map goes there. I'll take you. The map goes here. Uh, I'll take that and those and those and those, and I can sell that. I mean, I guess I'll put that there, but I will... Oh, yeah, that.
All right. My inventory is slightly better. Except now that I have the shotgun on me. Um, I'm going to get rid of the bow then for now. Just for now. It'll free up a little space anyways. All right. We're using the shotgun. All right. Let's take some shotgun rounds. And let's take another thing of small ammo. Ace of spades. Oh, wait. Do it. Something on your mind. How on earth? Something else. How? No, okay. Now the problem is I'm not going to be regenning health. Annabelle, it's nice seeing you again. It really is. But it's time for this guy to go. Let's see how two aces stack up against all these things. Oh, I hear them. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Right, the loot ace. You got the loot ace, and then you got the headshot ace. Put them together, you got increased loot chance, and you have increased headshot damage. Oh, who messaged me about what? Right. I don't know where this goes, but let's find out, I guess. Nowhere, but there's a loot. Uh they need it at some point, you never know. I mean, I'll take the revolver just to take the bullets out. Let me see. Bola, I'll just leave it there. Someone should give them a hand. Bad. Now, what's gonna Ooh. suck is I have to do some headshots. Not head. Uh, sorry, I'm thinking of a different gun. That's the one. Headshots with you will heal me. My cursed shotgun, which does a lot of damage. But also, this gun will give me money when I kill. Now, if Abigail is still there, or Annabelle, sorry, is still there when I get. Oh, yeah, they are blind. One and done. No, oh, I'm on the way here till you go away. Keep going that way. Oh, have I been over here? 
Oh, I've been over here. Wait, this wasn't me. This wasn't me. I don't think it was me. I didn't kill any of those dogs. Well, it must have been me because there's a scallywag that's dead and he has a shotgun. I don't remember killing those though. Then again, that one's been torn apart, so. Yeah. Yeah, this was all me. Alright. We're going back down. Let me scooch up in my chair a little bit. Take my slippers off. I'll get serious. <gasps> Let's see if I regret my decisions. A single headshot with this actually kills, which is really nice. Into nothingness. That's right, go to your buddy. You better stay dead, pal. I'm increased headshot damage by 30%, so just go for the head. And I would combine this with the hat, but I'm trying the Crimson Brooch right now. This is the last chapter of the game. I think it's only three chapters, and I want as much money as possible. Whatever gets the job done. He moved. Is that a uh, girl? I hear sounds like high heels. That's not high heels. No. What I see. Wait, needle of fate. Hello. A richly decorated dagger made for a spoiled son from an aristocratic family, drawn only once from by the young man on his birthday when the dagger was given him. How ironic that the first blood spilled by this weapon belonged to its owner. Who, due to incredibly bad luck, managed to commit accidental suicide by tripping with his new gift on the stairs. Interesting. The family quickly sold the weapon, and since then it's found its way in the hands of various bandits and former soldiers. Enemy damage reduced by 30% for 5 seconds, improved sneaking by 30%, and a 25% chance of getting an insta-kill. like you but the damage i actually know the damage is really good oh my god um if i wasn't using this for money i would you know what you know what oh i'm definitely quieter I got a 
find some bandages. That's on me. Right now, I'm gonna stick with this, but the Needle of Fate is really, really cool. But with the Cultists, you cannot kill them that way. Oh, I can kill him that way, though. But he's an easy headshot. are at four I'll use one just to make sure my health stays up I'm hearing something big. I'm not liking it. <sighs> Saw. Worthless. Nothing. There's a hole there. Yeah, no, I'm hearing noises. Really loud noises. I'm reloading whenever I can. It wouldn't be a headshot. Give me a second. of the witch from uh, Left 4 Dead. Okay. I am not looking at this place properly because I'm going deeper and deeper. Oh. The way of spirits. I got what I need. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's an artifact. Small golden bell with a short string. The inconspicuous object hides an interesting power, automatically ringing when something is hidden from view in the vicinity. Should I put it on now? All right, if so, which one am I getting rid of? Loot. Oh. 
Wait, if I take it back off. Alright, let's. Where am I? Fathomless can canteen. A neat looking leather canteen adorned with golden gold ornaments around the edges. Despite its lightweight, it seems to be bottomless. The liquid inside acts like a very strong alcohol with some special properties. Increased stamina regeneration by 15%, melee attacks are 15% faster, recover 1 HP over 8 seconds, increase movement speed by 10%, gain a 20% chance for enemy to miss. Oh. It's bottomless, so I can just keep drinking it? Man, if I was making a drunk build, that'd be really good. Okay, I want to stay here, because I have yet to even finish looking at this place. Yeah, I'm gonna put the canteen here. I'm gonna hold on to that. That canteen's... I'm gonna hold, also keep the bell equipped, because that is interesting. Because there's still more here I want to find. And I got the ammo. And my health right now isn't looking too bad. Okay, someone hears me. Alright. I thought so. What does this one do? That's where I got the knife. Okay, we're going left. Let me move some objects around real quick. Alright, the playing card will be here with that. What is this? Oh, the scalp. Yeah, that can go there. Chicken can go there. I'll drink will go there. And I'm gonna hold on to the dagger and put my... Really? There we go. We're swapping. And then we'll put you there and you there. There we go, my inventory is looking good now. Bullets, arrows, need them all. It's never enough. Chalice. Whatever it is, it's mine now. Notes on the Hellbat. I don't think I'm in danger, so I shall read it. Hellbats are parasites that, in their larval form, search for suitable habitats, usually in the form of corpses belonging to a humanoid creatures. Due to their substantial mo mobility and camouflaging skills, they are very difficult to spot at this stage of their development. Once they find suitable hosts, their nervous system expands over its entire body effectively taking direct control over it. The Hellbat is safely hidden in the host's ca chest cavity, only leaving its lair if it's physically destroyed. No one has ever observed the transition from the larval stage into the adult stage, if there even is one. Behavior. The Hellbat, driven to extremes, will use its ability to fly and make attempts, usually very direct, to quickly destroy the threat. Fortunately, in this form, it is little more than a an exceptionally large and aggressive leech with wings. Okay, so it is that thing that keeps flying at me. Okay. Which are very annoying. I'm just seeing if there's anything hidden there. Okay. Let's do this. I want to make sure. Okay, my OBS sound is good. All right, let's go down. I haven't been down this way yet. Oh, back up. Oh, headshot damage is killing it. Huh. 
Anything? No. Didn't want to see another one of those. I got silver ammo. And I got fire rounds here. So let me just equip them. Damn it. Go, 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 go. I don't know how I'm st How could it be? Yeah, no, I'm asking that same question we're getting away. Molotov, Molotov is honestly the best way to kill them. I I freak myself out every time. Oh God! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Just give me the bandages. Give me the bandages. We're not talking about it. Just a coin. We'll take this with me. I will take that Molotov. Damn, nothing else though. <gasps> nope. Okay. Time to go that path, which luckily was there because she would have murdered me. All right, let's finish reloading. Nothing. Oh. Alright, and I got a saber, which does okay damage. I'm happy with what I have right now. Someone hears me, but I don't think they're down here, so... I don't think I gotta worry about it. Go downstairs, and we're gonna go out the way. You suck. Did I just go in a circle? I just ran in a circle, didn't I? I just ran in a circle. Okay, we want to go this way. Alright, and we went right. Bang, 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 shoot, 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 died, they died. Left, then down the stairs. There it is. You know, yeah, you can't tell. So I got a feeling this item's gonna be equipped for a lot of this level. And look at that, it's just right there. You cheeky little bum. Also, what's the price? Ugh. It's about time to get back and call it. Holy cow. I'm just gonna use a crow. I think I got extras in my inventory, anyways. Yeah, let's go. Is Annabelle gone? Or, yeah, she is. She's gone. Yeah, it's a shame. Hey, man. Well, spit it out. I found the what? I found the way of the spirits. What now? Well, well. 
You finished your part before I grew moss on my privates. Did you see the town? It's a ruin. And it's not even my fault. Can you imagine? Ah, the good old times. The present is just one big disappointment. Okay, I have the artifact. How's this gonna help us out? Really? Uh, did my ritual not work as well as I'd hoped? Can you even hear me? Do you suffer from memory loss or something? I've told you already. This will help us a ton with surveying our surroundings. And we need a bloody good reconnaissance if the plan is going to work. We need to find a way to build a totem of souls here. I really don't know how many times I'll be able to put you back together when you trip or fall into a Vendigo's Maw. You can't rely on my memory. Too much has changed. Even my favorite saloon is in ruins. It just so happened that during my recon, I saw a light from afar. I don't know of any monster that uses a lamp, so it means somebody alive and civilized is here. We really should ask them a few questions. That's your job. Just try not to be trigger happy, yeah? Learn everything about this place first. Especially ask about big, mean monsters with a powerful soul. It is a crucial part of my plan. Without it, we can't summon a totem of souls. In the meantime, I'll look for a suitable place where the veil between the worlds is at its thinnest. Summoning the totem will be easier in such a spot, and we need it to keep us in shape. Seems fair, doesn't it? The totem started your undead existence, and without you, I wouldn't be here at all. I find it funny, we left the swamp together to get away from the totem of souls. And now, play me out, baby. And now, we need it. Well, as he's playing, I think it's time I end this video here. I think I got a decent feel for it so far. Oh man, we have to go all the way over here. Oh, over here, sorry. Okay. I might go for the stash first, if I can. I also want to check up north. I want to do my best to really look around this area, because I already found some good items, which I, you know, do some inventory management. But until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.